we're sticking out for a couple all right, minutes. All right, all right. There are just awesome, some ads awesome. in the background for you guys to see some events that are coming up. For sure, and of course, we talk about how we're now in the best of five territory. Yeah, and we got Dark Paladin 420, Nico <laughs> versus Master Mario from Pow Gaming. I feel like I've seen this a lot as well. I, I mean, this feel like it's deja vu. This, this used to be quite the fat classic back in Fire and Dice, Nico versus Indy yeah. back in the day, right? But now they kind of brought it over to MSM. Same, uh, one of the same players, but a new face is going to be Master Mario. Mm -hmm. Now taking up the mantle, probably one of the best Marios in SoCal. Oh yeah. Super dominating um, with the results too as well. Look at these upper strings. How does he get these so consistently from time to time? He can't always kill with it, but you know that's clean uh, damage that he knows he's gonna get there. Looks uh, all pretty much uh, true there as well. I don't believe it's true. I think it depends on like your opponent's DI and stuff. But he gets it so consistently, and he's following um, the DI so well. And also gonna read that get up option with the up smash there. Yeah, really good. First and really good for him to go for the up smash because, of course, we do like to see that choke. He's really known for his aerials for the neutral air. And speaking of those aerials, he's able to get Master Mario off the stage with them. Oh, man. Yeah, and honestly, with, uh, excuse me, Shulk, you know, having Distorted Sword, I feel like Mario would have a little harder time, but he's getting in really uh, consistently here and just breaking down, or, excuse me, closing the space and the gap and just going in and opting for these grabs and uh, playing really aggressive, kind of how we uh, usually see Master play, and it's paying off for him right now. Nico's definitely gonna have to figure something out and um, adapt to this play style because the damage he's racking up, he's looking like it's not gonna be a three stock, but it might be a two stock at this point. It's looking yeah. rough. Smash R looking to get that back air, especially against Master Mar, but good opportunity for him to understand the, shield. Wow. the roll was coming in and that up B was gonna be the one thing to take care of it. Gonna get that grab here, forward throw, like the fireball. Nice, switching to jump hard, making sure he's able to come from that extra low depth. Ooh, if he would have thrown out that up smash up a little bit earlier, I think that would have uh, taken the stock there. Yeah. For sure. Really nice of Nico, gonna utilize the shield art there. Gonna live a little bit longer because of that. Nice, looking to space out that neutral air and even get the back against Master Mario. Slowly pushing him off the stage. I mean, the deficit of percents are not going to matter when Nico is winning the neutral here. Master Mario looking for a good time to come back on the stage with that roll option from the ledge. Going to cost him so much percent. Oh my God. And what was the lead? Forward throw because he knows back throw won't kill, especially with Buster Art. Air slash for the recovery. Oh, I, like, that. I like the... Okay, that was a really optimal use of Flood there. It was pretty clean. I mean, you liked it. That's where Master Mario definitely Ooh, showed it out there. That's jab lock there, too, as well. Gonna get that nice 50% off of all of that. Really nice. All right, Nico kind of gonna reset himself here. In a really good position. Yeah, his positioning definitely looking to be pretty solid here. He's got Master Mario on that high percent. He's just looking for one aerial to bring him back here, but Master Mario finds the follow up here and the critical hit. And unfortunately, Nico got switched to the jump arc, which is going to cause him to lose that stuff. Uh, closing it out with the down arrow as well, going to solidify that first game of the night there. And uh, honestly, that was really aggressive. And uh, it just kind of plowed <laughs> Nico down there. It was just very relentless in his face constantly. And I feel like Nico didn't really have that much time to switch into his um, Nauta arts um, as quickly as he's used to, and didn't really give him that much time to think. And I think that that's like the benefit of, uh, you know, Mar Master Mario being aggressive in this matchup. Sorry, yeah. go ahead. I don't no, 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 no. You, you have it pretty down right, right? Like being a little bit of aggressive, that's kind of one of those things that Shulk does suffer. Even though he has great range, great damage, great um, a great toolkit, the one thing that Shulk still has suffered from, even from continuing from Smash 4, is honestly the startup frames of his moves, right? He has to swing that full sword in an arc. He has to pull the sword out. He's kind of a swordsman that has to actually un unsheathe his sword, which is a bit of a shortcoming in terms of character design. Yeah, has a little bit of a slower startup. <laughs> Bit of lag. Oh, unfortunately, just going a little too far out there, and the up B not going to be enough to grab the ledge there. Um, already, um, this game looking a lot different than the first. Ooh, throw, good follow up. That, that's usually actually going to work with Buster at those percents. Yeah, that was really nice, uh, easy damage as well. 
Nice, using seeing that extra jump to kind of avoid the down air. Nico at this point should be very familiar with how Master Mario loves to go for that down air. All right, hoping he would roll in for that F smash there. Not going to connect it. Now it's all about fishing for this kill right now just to take the first stock of the game. My goodness. Looking like a huge turnaround in this set. Or game, excuse me. I'm getting so thirsty. <laughs> right, we could use some H2O. <laughs> I know. Okay, actually, wow, it didn't even look like he was going to grab the ledge there. Ooh, I like the down tilt. Recognize that he was can't hold that ledge forever there. Up throw, nice, and he recognizes that the shield art is active, so he doesn't get the kill, but he's Ooh. able to get the damage, and does put Nico off the stage. The stocks, though, still at a separate deficit, but Master Mario evens it up, but not the percents. Oh, and here we go. Another really bad situation off stage. Oh. You know how Nico loves to go for up B off stage there because uh, he doesn't even need to be facing the right way to grab the ledge there, which is huge for uh, Shulk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, up B out of shield. You knew what he wanted, especially with Smash Monado. Good parry. All right, yeah, these Nairs cover so much range here. Nice, Buster Art Nico looking to do a little bit more pressure. We're kind of seeing a game of aerials, aerial footsies here because we know how each one is trying to look for an opportunity mm -hmm. to get into the range. Master Mario looking for a grab to get a combo started, and Nico looking to just finish off Master Mario. Not only that, he's really well aware of like, okay, if he's going for the air, I need to make sure that I'm there to stop the approach. Yeah, he was looking for some type of opening there, but uh, Nico is just setting up a lot of traps, and uh, his spacing was really on point that game as well. Yeah. I'm actually going to go run and get us water really quick. Yeah, thank you so much. Appreciate that. You need water? Or chief, you're good. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I don't even think I had wa I've had water in like two hours. My voice is starting to crack <laughs> a little bit here. But all right, let's see what we got. We got game three coming out here. And let's see. We have counter pick coming out from Master Mario. Going to go to Pokemon Stadium 2. Game three, guys. Here we go. All right, nice. Nair into the grab there. Opting for buster mode already. Wants that clean, easy damage here. Wouldn't even say easy, but fast damage. Okay, nice spacing on these back airs here. Really making it super difficult for Master Mario to get in uh, safely. Which is also, I feel like, mixing up Master's options. Mm, yeah. That's going to be it. So smart for Shulk to be able to uh, utilize up B from a far down on the stage, like I was saying earlier. doesn't need to, you know, have to be facing the stage to grab it. And it's such a great option, especially if you have Smash Art out, out. You don't even really need to opt for fair off stage with Shulk. He has multiple options, and that's what makes his character so great. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. All right. Yeah, Master playing a patient game, though. I'm going to wait at the ledge here, throw out some fireballs. Going to want to rack up any percent so he can get him off stage. Um, just take the stock. He's searching for it. Gonna get that grab. Good, good pummel, making sure that the back throw might have a little more oomph to it the next time he goes for it. Yeah. Another opportunity. This time, he, I love the change up here. Adapts to the shield art. The damage is on the board. Oh, man, that water definitely helped me out, man. Yeah. It tastes a little weird, doesn't it? Mm. I don't know. Thank you, though. Hopefully, hopefully it won't taste too weird for Nico, because right now, he's definitely up against Master Mario. <sighs> All right. I'm good now. Smash R, he needs to be careful how he lands. Master Mario gets an anti-air or an up smash. You take more damage when the smash uh, you take more, So well. smash R, you'll take more uh, knockback. You'll take knockback, more damage yeah. from in buster, mode, yeah. in buster mode. Exactly. I meant to say that reverse, but. All right, waiting patient, opting for that fair to up tilt up air. Really nice string going on here from Master Mario there. I like that. But unfortunately, that string is only to be stopped by a shield art Man. and the stock only to be lost by a four tilt. All right, nice. Looking for that grab. Not going to get it, though. Nico spacing just a little bit better. Going to be throwing out these aerials. These nares really safe. Um, and Nico just 
I mean, his stocks, he's holding onto them a lot longer than Master, and that's like, I feel like the biggest thing right now, Master's out really struggling to, uh, to get these kills here. Oh, nice, even on the return. Oh, oh no. that smash hard, that'll do it. That'll do it. Yeah. This is actually a matchup that Nico has, I have talked to Nico about, and he honestly considers the Mario Shulk matchup to be A2 March, um, sorry, the Shulk Mario matchup. He considers it to be an A2 matchup in Shulk's favor. An 80, like 20, you're saying? Yes, 80. an A2 matchup in Shulk's favor. Wow. So he thinks that. That rough for Mario, yes. Hmm, I don't feel like it's like that bad, but I mean, Nico is definitely making it look. <laughs> he, makes, <laughs> he, he makes that statement much more true, right? Yeah. I don't know about 80 20, but. Um, I mean, we'll see if 80 20 evolves to 50 50 here because Master Mario here starts off with some solid percent on Nico. I like when Master's like losing too. He changes up his skins as well, kind of reinvigorates him. Like to see the Mario Odyssey skin. Really cute. Um, but okay, seeing a big uh, turnaround from Masta, actually starting off the uh, game three, f excuse me, four here really nicely and strongly. You need a strong opening sometimes to get that momentum. Got to get something going for yourself, especially when you you know you're down a, a down a game. If you can even this up and uh, make it a best of five too, I feel like uh, could be doable for any of uh, these players tonight. Down till Forward air. Nice. Looking to get a Master Mario off the ledge. Master Mario this time taking first blow, but unfortunately, Nico making sure that things stay even between them both. Yeah, calling out the right option there. Going to get that grab into the back throw there. And already forcing Master Mario at the ledge. Nico just dominantly holding onto the stage here and, and, and really controlling the space of the game. And a big part of that is because of the sword. Oh. Almost got that forward smash, even with jump art. Master art, more shield pressure, more damage. Nico's gonna make sure that if he's gonna bring Master Mario to the corner, it's by making sure that he's not holding, that he actually is holding shield. I've seen him get fair into up tilt so many times now, and that looks so true. Like a certain percentages. Mm -hmm. Really nice that he can kind of continue on, on uh, like a combo string after the up tilt, you know, off for some nice. type of aerial, yeah. Really nice. Oh, okay, missing that bear. Yeah, opting for the shield and not art pretty a little earlier than usual, but um, kind of smart coming out from Nico too because it was at the ledge situation. And if he didn't, that F smash would have done a ton of knockback. Exactly. And he's making sure he lives a little bit longer, but unfortunately trying to execute that up is not going to find its mark. Nico still looking to get the stock first before Master Mario, but I talked about it. He has to be careful for that anti-air that is the up smash. Mm -hmm. Smash R, this could be scary for Master Mario because he could condition him to get for a grab and a back throw or a down throw to take the stock from a grab. Oh man, so scary. So rough because you like, kind of want to have center save, but at the same time, when Nico's just patiently waiting there, you think, oh, okay, this might be an opportunity. And it's like, nope, this is never mind. Yeah. But throwing it actually right back at him. Uh, we're going to have one stock to one stock here, and looking a lot better than the last two games have gone for Master Mario here. You go with the cross up, tries to get away from a combo here by going for the up beat. Switching to shield art, but he only finds himself on a re grab. Master Mario might have been looking for a fall from that side of the ledge. Nico switching to speed, looking to play a little neutral here. He wants to make sure he's coming back with an aerial and carries him off the ground. I like the patience coming out from Master Mario too, kind of just putting out these up airs, uh, but also patiently waiting in shield, waiting for some type of opportunity to show itself here. Double down air into up smash, <laughs> what? The damage was there, and it not only was it supplemented by the fact that Nico wasn't shielded up and he couldn't die, but the, he was able to get that combo because of the weight that Shulk was. Yeah. And here, I talked about it earlier. Nico has to be careful every time he goes for it. Nice up smash out of shield here. It's definitely oh, huge Freddy. opportunity for Nico, especially oh. with Smash Manada Art. It's really dangerous. Smash Art's out of commission here. Oh my god. Air is <laughs> like so terrified. Just to find some type of way back onto the stage here. Shield Art. Weight class is one of the heaviest characters in the game, but unfortunately, like I said, he's got to watch out for those aerials. Master Mario bringing it up to game five. Yeah, that was, uh, I don't know. I, I don't know why I felt like that was going to be a game for Master Mario to take. Um, I feel like 
he definitely had. I mean, it was his counter stage pick as well, but um, great ad adaptation, you know, back and forth coming out from both players, especially if it is like an 80 20 matchup that Nico is saying. Masters is really doing a great job holding his own, kind of getting a lot of uh, right reads, a lot of good combinations, starting off really strong in that, ma uh, that beginning of that uh, match there. So, game five, here we go, guys. Gonna go to Kalos. Another uh, pretty large stage here. Yeah, uh, the space does allow a lot of characters to be able to move around. Not only that, the platforms are just at the sides. Oh, so they allow yeah. for a little bit of a different edge guarding. For Shulk, I'm not gonna lie, he's gonna benefit a lot from That's the platforms. Yeah, yeah. I, was, I was gonna say, I definitely know why Nico opted for the stage, for the counter pick stage, uh, for the game five situation. He's gonna wanna extend those uh, conversions off stage, going with, you know, like, Bear, opting for all that stuff that, you know, Shulk loves already going for. And now he could just have that extension free. Yeah, <laughs> and if Asimur also chooses to land on the platform, right, he has to be careful because that sword does have that range to reach through it. All right, Nico with the first with the first big lead of the game here. Hey, we got that forward air stopping Mastermar from going for the fireball. Mastermar has to go look for yeah. that recovery. And Ooh, so okay. far, he's able to survive. He had the ledge, dude. Did you see that? That was so scary. I didn't even think he was going to make it back there. Yep. I definitely agree with you on that one. Mastermar was definitely every, having everybody hold on to their seats in the last few seconds. Ooh, okay, nice directional air dodge. Kind of mixing up uh, his landing option there. Nicole's a little bit more cautious around Mastermar's back here, seeing as how he lost his stock and the game because of it. He picks up a small combo here, but the weight class has changed. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Nico loves opting for that shield art to just kind of get out of the combo strings right away. Kind of like a free, uh, get out of jail free card. Yeah. All right, nice. Gonna get that grab. Actually optimi uh, optimizing for the damage instead of going for, you know, like a back throw or something. I feel like he might have done that on purpose just to get that extra yeah. damage. Probably also looking to find a read afterwards. Mastermaro gets. I talk about how Nico had the first big lead here, but Mastermaro looking to make sure that lead will last off of the up smash. No, oh, he went for it. Yeah, he was a little too overzealous, and I felt that like Nico had made that adaptation because of it. Oh my god. All right, now with Buster are out as well. If he gets hit by anything more, it's going to take so much damage. Back throw, not even going to take it. Mario had a little extra rage there, probably would have done it, but or not if, uh, it out yet. Or if Nico was in the wrong Monado. <laughs> exactly. All right, once again, looking for spacing here, and he comes back, takes this man off the stage, puts him in the corner, and so far, Master Mario able to survive yet again. I like that he didn't optimi uh, op optimize for up B there. He went for uh, the directional air dodge. Super nice, recovering super nice. low, utilizing the stage, gonna wall jump off of it. Master Mario not out of the cards just yet. He's just looking for the stock, and he's so far I've been avoiding a shulk. But unfortunately, when he tries to go for an aerial approach, it's anti air versus anti air, and he should have definitely should have remembered that up though. Yeah, sword's always gonna win. Two right, stocks nice. versus one. Can Master Mario come out clean with a stock victory to possibly bring it to close set, close game here? Yeah, it's gonna be quite the miracle. Pretty close, but I mean. Nico with the stock lead here, he could definitely go for a, little, a lot more riskier stuff, play a lot more aggressive than he likes to. Um, doesn't have to play super safe, so Massive definitely has to go for something super gimpy or just go ham. Oh. Nice, able to get that full hop around. He goes showing a little bit of respect because he knows Master Mark still makes a comeback here. Another forward air, reads the double jump but doesn't find the third forward air. Sorry, the second board, I would've been there. All these air dodges coming out for Master 2. Kind of a great way to get out of the those scary situations there against mm -hmm. Nico. Back air, there's a tech, and he's able to go for a tech roll in, trying to avoid getting grabbed or possibly tech chased. Shield bar, and that, unfortunately the activation did not come in time. I talked about it, Nico showing still respect to, to Master Mario because he knows Master Mario not that far behind. Just a few grab, um, just a few grab or combo strings and that'll definitely bring a close game. Oh my god, why is this so terrifying right now? I can't even sit still in my seat. Master actually can bring this back right now. I like how he's utilizing the fireballs as well, kind of just break uh, the momentum, the speed momentum, mm -hmm. and Minato actually, that uh, Nico's using right now. 
kind of poke through with that back air. He's looking for more spacing here. And I feel like that's where Nico needs to kind of change things up a little bit more. Go back to spacing because so far, he, since he wasn't in spacing, oh my God. Nasumaru was the one getting a lot closer here. And he slowly brought this back over oh. a two-stock lead. He almost got the down tilt to F smash. That would have been so clean and there's if he a got parry. that. This is so, oh my God, yeah, the crowd Shield screaming. Dart. I'm screaming inside. Going for the back air. Not going to get the back air. Nico holding on to that last second to go for the air oh, oh, and the oh my at the God, last the second. Pop. What a comeback over a two-stock deficit. Wow, not even going to give him the handshake there. That was a oh. well-deserved win from Master Mario. Opt literally such a clean comeback. That was a huge turnaround. Nico was up a whole stock lead there. Two stock lead. Got Almost got the down tilt and the F smash there. Was keeping him off stage. Ended up waiting for him to use his uh, up B there and just knew he could uh, get flood with that. That was a really, really, really a 